Today we're installing a Delta Universal Shower Cartridge Diverter and Trim Kit. I'm making this video today because as you can see there's a whole lot of parts and pieces that came with this trim kit. It can get a bit confusing. A pretty hefty installation manual also. What I'm installing today is Delta's multi-choice valve trim and this is for a diverter, the one that I'm installing. Now, Delta's multi-choice though, you can have it with or without a diverter. The installation process is going to be the same. Their universal combos allow you to switch the trim pieces out here, which is really nice. The diverter and the cartridge though, those are going to be the same installation process regardless of which trim kit you're using with the universal multi-choice. Step 1A, we're going to turn off our water supply and then we're going to remove the bonnet nuts and test caps from the rough end body. Since we might want to place a bucket or small container under to catch water, I didn't, but I suggest that you do and you'll see why here in a moment. I'm simply taking my hand and I'm loosening these bonnet, bonnet nuts. If these are too tight, you can use a pair of channel lock pliers and simply loosen them up. These test caps are awesome though because they allow you to um, install the trim whenever you'd like. You can go ahead and keep turn your water on and you don't have to worry about that because these test caps are nice and snug. Then take your hand here and pull those out of the shower valve body. And then we're gonna remove this white piece right here. So we're just simply gonna grab it with our fingers. We're gonna pull it out and we'll see here why, yep, there's a lot of water. That's why they say we might want a bucket. And uh, I didn't read the directions well, so now I have wet socks and shoes for the rest of this installation. Nice. So following along with our installation manual, we're at 1B. And this is where we're going to insert the assembly adapter into the rough end body, making sure that the adapter assembly is correctly positioned and that it is pressed in and fully seated in the valve. We're looking for this little plastic uh, bag of plastic parts here. And this is just the shower cartridge. Uh, it's got a little black piece here that helps with the installation. You read here it says please remove this part after installation. So this is just to help you get it properly aligned inside the shower valve. So you're going to take it and you're just going to push it into the shower valve body here. I've removed that black plastic piece that says remove um, after installation. It's really not necessary here but I guess you could use it if you're having difficulties. I'm simply going to lift this up with my finger pushing firmly into the valve body to make sure that this correctly seats. You'll feel the tension and you'll know that it's in there correctly. Step 1C of the cartridge installation says we're going to rotate the cartridge so that the words hot side appear on the left and then we're going to insert the cartridge assembly into the rough end body making sure that the valve cartridges is fully engaged with the slots in the brass body. So the cartridge is in the same packet that we just removed and installed that guy from. So we'll take this guy out. It's got a little plastic guide here. We'll simply pop that off. And then it says to make sure that the words hot is on the left side. So let's see here. Right there says hot side on the left. Right side is blank, so we need to make sure the words hot are to the left. We need to make sure it's seated into the brass valve body. And what that is talking about is this little groove here. And you can see the groove here. We need to make sure those line up. And then it will seat in just like that. Now we take our bonnet cap. And we hand tighten. Next we're going to take the bag that has this O-ring and a little container of silicone lubricant. I've added some latex gloves. Uh, the silicone grease is very sticky and hard to get off your hands. so some gloves on if you have them. I'm just simply taking the grease and rubbing it on the o-ring here. I'm trying to record uh, while doing this one-handed so you'll probably have a much easier time doing it than me. Then you're going to simply slide it over the bonnet uh, that you'd already screwed onto the shower valve. Uh, once you do that we're going to be ready to move on to the next step. 
which is the installation of the diverter cartridge. Now, if your particular setup doesn't use a diverter, you can go ahead and skip forward to the trim installation. But what we're gonna be doing is applying some silicone lube to the O-rings to allow these diverter sleeves to insert properly into the valve body. In our box of parts here, what I'm looking for is this guy here. This is the shower diverter cartridge. And this is the plastic sleeve that you use with that diverter. We're going to take our silicone grease and we're just going to use a small bead of grease along these two O-rings on this plastic component. I'm just going to take our finger here and just rub the grease along these two O-rings. We're going to take our actual diverter piece here. We're going to do the same thing. Just apply a small bead of the silicone grease along the o-ring and this just helps uh, these two parts uh, seat properly within the shower valve uh, body in the wall. So we just want to make sure that we get these lined up really easy to do. On the back of your diverter you'll see that little tab that aligns with the hole there. So we're just going to make sure that that seats just like that. Now that we have that in, we're going to take the gray piece of plastic that we have silicone grease on. And you'll see there that there is a tab on the side of that. And that lines up with these tabs here. That tab is aligned. I'm just going to push it in there. You can see that tab properly seated. Now that we have that done, we're going to take our bonnet cap. We're simply going to hand tighten just like we did the bottom. Now that we have the actual shower cartridge and the diverter installed, we can move forward with the trim installation. So this is the third and final step. We're gonna start with the trim sleeve installation and then we're going to install the escutcheon. Escutcheon is just a really fancy word for the trim plate, the piece that actually covers the hole in the wall. It makes this all look nice. I actually made a mistake here and I didn't find that out until I tried to install this sleeve component. I actually had these bonnets um, reversed. So my plumber installed this valve and had these in the wrong uh, place. You see a smooth round one here and you see one of the bonnet nuts uh, that's got these little ridges. Uh, the one with the ridges is actually meant to go up top. Originally I had it on the bottom here and this sleeve would not fit on it and I couldn't figure out why is this trim sleeve not fitting over this? And then I tried it on the one above and it fit. So I realized that I had those reversed. So just make sure that you use the smooth one uh, on the bottom here because that is where it is designed to go over the sleeve. I had a hard time getting this sleeve uh, to fit over uh, that bonnet, uh, bonnet cap there. And so I use a little bit of leftover silicone grease and then I was able to push this firmly over that bonnet cap uh, without any problems. So if you have trouble, try to use some of the silicone grease. Once you get that trim sleeve placed, we're ready for the trim kit. Really hard to mess this up. It clearly says this side out, so just make sure that side is facing you. And then there is a washer that tends to fall out. So just make sure that you have that washer seated properly there. Then there's going to be four screws that we're going to use to attach this uh, backing piece to the actual valve body. Now we're ready for the trim kit. And so I'm going to place this on. This is the great thing about the Delta Universal uh, trim kits is that if your taste change or style changes over time, these universal shower valves, you simply take it off and you can add a new trim kit. This is just a small um, piece that you put on before you put the diverter handle on. And I'll show you how to attach that here in a moment. Now I'm going to attach the handle to the main shower cartridge. And uh, again, I'm doing this one-handed and uh, trying to hold the camera and film and install 
You can see I have a little bit of a hard time here, but this is the beautiful thing about this is it is really foolproof because you can see that the handle doesn't just snap on in any which direction. Uh, once I find the right spot here, it just locks right into place. And so it really is hard to mess this up. There we go. The diverter handle attaches using a small Allen screw in this Allen uh, wrench that is included in the trim kit. Super easy and quick. And then it has a small plastic screw and you use this and it just finishes off uh, this top piece. Hopefully you don't do like me and yeah, drop it onto a dirty black shower floor spending the next 15 minutes trying to find the screw. I was actually afraid that it went down the drain, but I did eventually find it. And that is what it looks like once you have that screw in and finished off. The last step in the process here is the installation of the hot and cold uh, temperature regulator handle. Uh, this black uh, part here that looks like a little wheel, it's got little teeth on it. This is the temperature regulator. And so this is what uh, sets the temperature, how hot your shower can get. I'm gonna put it all the way on the H here, which means that the shower valve will put out the, uh, the water will be the temperature of my hot water heater. So it's not gonna regulate that temperature or try to cool it down. If you've got kids and you need to regulate that temperature, uh, then you can move that uh, closer in the middle. Uh, each one of those teeth, I think it says, changes the temperature four degrees. Uh, so you, there are plenty of YouTube videos and information on that. Then we're gonna put, if you wanna change the temperature. Uh, and trial and error, you may wanna try it. Super simple to change. We're gonna use this white um, final piece here, and this just is the trim piece that holds the handle on. Uh, it says do not over tighten it so we're just going to tighten it until that screw gets snug and then our final trim uh, piece here part of the handle uh, will just snap right on super easy and uh, now we are done we have an installed delta universal uh, trim kit with shower cartridge and diverter So we've done it. We've installed our Delta Universal Shower Cartridge, our diverter, and our trim kit. If you found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe. Leave a comment down below.